Hello everyone and welcome to this brief iXload technical tutorial. In this session, I would like to go through one piece of technology that is very powerful and flexible and demonstrates how easy it is to configure an iXload test with multiple encapsulations. More specifically, we will go through a test scenario for encapsulating IPv6 application traffic through an IPv4 network using GRE. Due to its flexibility, GRE can encapsulate virtually any type of traffic in an IP packet and that makes GRE the preferred tunneling option for many use cases. In this video, we will see how to use iXlow to emulate multiple GRE tunnels carrying IPv6 traffic over an IPv4 network. The device under test can be a GRE terminating device that decapsulates the inner IPv6 packets from the outer IPv4 packet and forwards it to an IPv6 server which is also simulated by Ixia. This is shown in this diagram. Now, let's see how to configure iXload for this use case. So, in the iXload test scenario, we are emulating on the left hand side HTTP clients which are generating HTTP GET requests. These GET requests are being sent using IPv6 and these IPv6 packets are being encapsulated using GRE into an IPv4 packet. The destination of the GRE tunnels is 10.10.0.101 which is basically the IP address of the device under test. At the GRE level we can enable additional options like checksum, key and sequence number. In total we are emulating 100 GRE tunnels. On the right hand side we are simply emulating an HTTP server running on a plain IPv6 network. In terms of objectives, we are simulating 100 users to make sure that we are running traffic through all the GRE tunnels. Now, let's run the test and see what is happening. So, as soon as the test is running, the view will automatically switch to the start view and now if we go to the HTTP client objectives view we can see that the simulated users are already up so we have 100 simulated users up and running all these users are performing traffic so we can see for example that all the requests sent have been successful also we can look at statistics at the GRE level, so we can see things like bytes sent, packets sent, bytes received and packets received, as well as any transmit or receive errors. So in a nutshell, in this test, we have seen how to configure iXlow to emulate data traffic over GRE tunnels and moreover, it is important to note that GRE tunnels can be combined with other stacks like IPsec to provide confidentiality, integrity and authentication to the GRE tunnels. For more details on GRE over IPsec, please check out the Ixia blog page. Enjoy testing and see you in the next technical tutorial.